she beat a lot of great players uh, to do that and really beat them handily. So that's where we knew we may have a gem here yeah. Yeah. Uh, at, the, at the 2015 Pan American Games. So. Sharon Lewis hasn't actually competed uh, for the past year and a half. So she's had a little bit of break since uh, the Pan Am Games 2015. Right, right. So last event. She's had a little bit of time off. But her record, I, I'm just looking down. When she's got to a final, oh my goodness, I could count this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 finals. She's only lost one, which was the World Youth Championships in Egypt at Sharm El Sheikh. What a record. Yes, I mean, it's, like I said, definitely uh, experienced, definitely confident, and uh, knows this game. And, yeah. can, and and these new rules for, for a tall person, she'll be just fine. I think she just blew Johansson a kiss there. <laughs> she's, she's smiling away. Oh, she's enjoying like, herself immensely out there. You know, loves to fight. Yeah. Johansson, you know, one of the best fighters, you know, in the world for many, many years. So yeah. I think we're in for a thrill here. This is maybe much. Uh, oh, uh, she's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, she got herself in trouble there. She went in in a very messy way, and that's cost her four points early on. That was very not like Ellen Johansson. She, uh, she, she sort of got lost in that maneuver yeah, totally, she did. didn't she? Yes, she did. And uh, Sharon Lewis showing some real expertise. She's looking sharp, this kid. Johansson, 27 years old. Five years difference between them. Lewis, 22. Yeah, good idea. She's trying to trap that front leg with the spin kick, and I, and I like the idea of it. Cheyenne's just a little long and, uh, you know, read it, read it a little bit. So definitely good thought process by Johansson for sure. Yeah. This probably isn't as much as the experience versus the youth. Uh, Lewis has been around a little bit more than some of the... Uh, the other two finals we we saw she's had a few years under her belt and a lot of gold medals in that cupboard back home she's not smiling now she's concentrating heavily on Johansson's move she's a, it's an interesting phase in this first you know, we only had a minute and a half and Lewis has just decided to yes she's been penalized she just decided to hold back and see what uh, Johansson was going to offer interesting little uh, change of tactic there Hansen has this you know she's hopping up and down that's very much her style oh, oh. inside really yeah. flexibility really great flexibility there two points six one and, uh, well Shane Lewis she had an incredible uh, earlier match which uh, Went all the way. Time's up. We were watching it over on court eight. I did a little bit of commentary on it. Uh, in fact, we both did, of course. Yeah, we and, did. Uh, and uh, the Brazilian uh, fighter who was really living with her just uh, unfortunately uh, got a, quite a serious injury, a knee injury by the looks of it. And uh, she was really a spent force after that. She just continued, but it was it was all over. Um, have you uh, caught up with Stephen Lambden at all? Because he had a serious knee injury yesterday. Yeah, it? yes, I have. And, um, you know, it's not, hopefully it's not as serious as we think. We'll get an MRI and, and, and find out. It, actually, he injured it in the semifinals in Germany last week. And uh, uh, so he came here and struggled with it a little bit in the uh, semifinals here this year. So two bronze medals, two events. It's a good start for 2017. Yeah. You know, I, we get a lot of questions. You, you know, from players in our country, are we going to continue on to 2020? And Stephen not being the youngest, but uh, I think uh, competition by competition and year by year, but he's a, he's a well-oiled machine, and he can go to 2020 if he wants to do it. And, of course, I'll be there as, you know, with him if he, if yeah. he wants to go that route myself and his other, his other team of coaches. Yeah. Uh, Ellen with a great sidekick flip over the face. Almost got <laughs> her, and Cheyenne let her know that was close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I, I love her... Uh... Oh, and a nice pot of chuggy on kick, yeah. Yeah, she's at, look, you, you can see she's right at home here in the ring. She missed it, and it shows. She's back, and she's yeah. back full force, ready to go. 8-1. This is a, a truly significant scoreline here. This, uh, Johansson uh, has lost by a good margin in recent times. This has been a, we yeah, have just a little change of the, at the moment, Johansson only only got only points on the board is a Ga Gam John, so she's not. Oh, that's a lovely twist in. She'll get an extra point She'll for get, that. Yes, yeah, she will, and that's a great. You know, we saw her try it earlier. We saw her try to trap that that groundhouse kick earlier, and it didn't quite work. But look, her experience showed right there. Yeah. She stayed with it, came back to it, and and grabbed three points with a turning body kick, and that's 
that's good game planning. That's good coaching and good execution. Yeah, absolutely. Now only four points in it. And under these rules, four points is nothing. Johansson's suddenly stepped up a little bit in this, in this second round. Oh, twisting kick and so many kicks by Lewis, which just don't score. I saw a whole range of points appear on the board and every one of them just under the threshold. This, uh, this new system, the screen in the bottom left corner is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it is. It shows, it gives, gives a good feel for uh, how close the athletes are to getting the scoring there. So I couldn't agree more, Adrian. It's, yeah, absolutely. it's fantastic. It really is good. And uh, yeah, Lewis, I think, got five contacts with Johansson and none of them scored. There's that turn again, a little late that time. But again, she's uh, sticking with her plan and her plan has got her only three points down with uh, about 30 seconds left in the second round. So we got ourselves a great final. Absolutely. Two real experienced athletes here going toe to toe here at Westgate Complex, Las Vegas. Johansson coming down from minus 67 to this category. Lewis has moved up from minus 57. So you know, usually I don't, I don't think these fighters would be anywhere near each other normally. No, they may both be here to stay. I mean, I think Cheyenne Lewis is definitely here in this category to stay and from the U.S. And uh, right. A punch might have come up. after time. Yeah, you know, so. well, I saw one uh, little light from a sure. judge. One of them went for it, but the other two didn't. So no score there. Eight, five, Lewis leads. And, uh, yeah, you know, Ellen Johansson's done well here because she uh, she's managed to hang in there. The spinning kick absolutely gave her, you know, gave her four points in the end. Lewis went down. And, uh, you know, she, she only three points behind. That's nothing in today's game. No, it's not. It's one It's one head kick, you know, a, a, a gamjon and a body kick or a turn kick. So, yeah, we're this game, this match is far from over, and it's going to be very close. Yeah. I'll be curious to, to know your take on uh, if the with the German Open being minute and a half rounds last week, um, us, us having two-minute rounds here, I'll be curious to see your take of whether – be more action at one minute and a half over two minutes in these uh, three round matches in these giant brackets like you see our Pulis today. Yeah, yeah. I, what was the reason they went to a minute and a half? Yeah, I have no idea. No. And I thought maybe that was what the WTF wanted to go to now. And and uh, clearly we went with the two minutes. And yeah. these fighters, are, you've seen a lot of fighters today be exhausted because they haven't had to fight this much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically because there's more action pushing and, yeah. and things. So it's been an interesting uh, dilemma here for the athletes and the coaches to try to to manufacture points when you're a little more tired than usual. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I feel two minutes is a, is a, is, well, it's a attempt to... Ooh, that's close. Yeah. Chop kick coming in to out on Lewis, but she just avoided it. We'll talk about that in a second. Minute and a half to go. Punch has uh, been nice punch accepted there. by Lewis. Two judges give that 9-5, four-point lead. Now you're Hansen. Now, Lewis has already done this early on in this fight. She's... Taking a step back. She got herself into trouble there. I like Joe Hansen pressing the attack here, but but Cheyenne Lewis knows it. She knows that she, if she continues to stay with her game and stay with her front leg and have some attacking, yeah. she should be able to keep her off. That axe kick's been close now four times in a row. Chop kick four times in a row, four close ones. So yeah. I think she's primed to get one here sooner than later. Yeah, she Hansen, uh, usually quite a, a good counter attacker. I think uh, Cheyenne Lewis uh, just sort of holding back a few times now, saying to Ellen Johansson there that you, know, you need to do something. You're the one that's behind. Sure. Three points in it. Oh, wow. So I don't Caught. know what she got that for. She, she pushed her hand away. Yeah, it looked like she thought hand. she grabbed her foot, but we both felt like she pushed her foot away. Yeah, so that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's a tough call. But, you know, those are judgment calls, and the referee has a little bit bigger, better angle than we do. Cheap point. So. 30 seconds, two points. Yeah, we... It's coming down. It's good. Oh, Lewis, Lewis gets the kick. The roundhouse comes in. Yes. Great defensive roundhouse kick, Adrian. And that that's just, you know, well-timed, well-put. Yeah. That was that was important for Lewis. It was, for sure. Just gives a four-point lead. She can go a little bit more defensive here. Again. And again. Again. On the defense. Yeah, yeah. the slide back, right leg, round kick, or pot chuggy kick is perfect there. It's, it's, yeah. what, it's what she can do. She learned a good fundamental base to do that. And it's showing up here in the finals with seven seconds left. Adds, you know, keeping her lead at five points. Yeah. Seconds to go. Well, the referee's, uh, referee was in there. All she did was take a step back. 
She'll cover her Seconds head. Seconds to go. Yep, it's probably the right move here for her to continue to. Uh, she's got some points to give and to continue to keep herself out of harm's way. I don't. I don't blame anything here on her for that. No. Um, too many crazy things can happen if you trade kicks. So Cheyenne holds her off and gets the gold medal for the U.S. So that's exciting for for the United States and for our uh, our talent pool for sure. What an incredible performance! What an absolutely superb performance from the United States. And uh, they could both have a giggle and a laugh. I think those two actually get on pretty well. Uh, Ellen Johansson, well, she has been another one that's been Cheyenne. She's, uh, Cheyenne Lewis has an absolutely incredible record that she's continued. Um, I, I could count up how many matches she's played here, but she has never lost a match on this continent at, at this level and yeah that's that's, that's startling right it's startling amazing. for sure not um, one bad decision not one twist of an angle yeah she's just 